Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video of Google Apps Script tutorial course and in the last video we have seen how to get the list of uh, files and folders which is present on your Google Drive. So now we are going a little bit more deep into our Google Drive. So now we are going to get the file by its ID and we are going to get the folder by its ID and how to get the list of files which is present inside that particular folder and how we can create a folder using Google Apps Script and how we can perform a search to find a folder by search query and how we can perform a search to find a particular type of file whether it could be an image or whether it could be a video so we are going to see that right now so first let's start with uh, getting file by id so let's create a variable file and use a class drive app dot there is a method called get file by id using that method you can access any file and once you access the file you can you can make use of the methods which which was uh, available in that particular file so let me show you shortly how first you have to identify the id of the file so to find the id so you can see that this is an id of the file it starts from here to here and for this sheet this is an id so just put that inside a double quotes so finding an id is not so complex if there is an uh, list if there is a string which contain alphanumeric character then that is called as an id this edit and hash id is not id and of course spreadsheet and this d are all not id so we can clearly get the id if you see the url so just copy the id and put it inside the double quotes so once we access the ID, we can get the file name, we can do the modification of the file, we can add, a, a, we, you can share the file with another user, you can get the owner of the file. There are so many methods or functional, functionalities listed by this uh, Google Apps Script to access or modify the file if you find out the ID of the file. So first uh, let me retrieve the name of the file. So I have to use a method get name. Go and view box. So you can see that the file name is wow, it was returned correctly. And even you can get the URL of the file. So this is a URL actually if you use the if you copy paste the URL on your browser it will open this a uh, Google sheet provided I have shared this um, Google sheet with anyone and you can access some other methods you can add commenter you can get access if uh, it was denied permission denied and you can get the description and you can download the URL you can get the MIME type. So just have a look at the methods that was written by this uh, variable file and try to make use of that method. So this is how you can make use of uh, the file if you find the ID of the file. So let me comment out this one. Next we will, uh, we will see how to get the list of files present in inside a particular folder. So first we need to identify the folder. So let me create a variable name as a files because we identify the folder and after we identify the folder, we are going to get the files which return the file iterator. Drive app dot get folder by ID. So in the same way, how we identified the ID for this uh, Google Sheet in the same way you have to find the ID for the folder. Let's say the folder name is a YouTube uh, backup or let's say the folder name is a tools. This is an ID of the folder name tools. Just put that ID inside the double quotes using a simple while loop but before using the while loop you have to use a get files which return the file iterator for your folder. So using file dot has next, this has next return a true. If there is a, any other file which is present after the currently returned to file and to get the name of the file, you can use files dot next. 
So now we will see the list of files which is present inside the folder tools. So you can see that apt.zip, YouTube video statics, automated currency tracker, these are all the files which is present inside the tools. But there is one thing that you want to make a note of this. If you use git folder by id, it will return only the file which is present inside the directory tools. If there is any other subfolder which is present inside the tools and if there is any other file which is present inside the subfolder, then it won't return that file name. So this is a subfolder Amazon price tracker and I have kept free Amazon price alert, but it won't return this. So it will return only the file which is present in the parent directory. If you go and see, it won't contain this uh, free Amazon price alert because it is present inside the subfolder. Okay, next we move on to create a folder. How we can create a folder using app script? So actually it's very simple and it's a single line of code. All you have to do is use a method create folder. That's it. Drive app dot create folder. In the same way you can create a file. You can give the name of the file. And if it is a text file, you can pass the content of the file. And if it's something else, if it's an image or video file, you, have, you can use the third option, MIME type, where you can define the MIME type of your file. So let's create a folder name, apps script. So the name of the folder is apps script. I want to create a folder, apps script. So let's go and search here. Let's refresh. So now you can see that it created a folder, empty folder app script. So creating a folder using app script, Google app script is very simple. And now let's see how we can perform a search using app script. So to perform a search, you have to use a method search folder. So let name this method as folder drive app dot search folders and inside this method search folder you have to pass the parameter there are actually there are so many parameters uh, you can use in to perform a search query you can pass the name you can pass the full text you can pass mime type you can pass the modified time and properties this was uh, actually a reference given by Google Drive APIs. I have given a link in the description. You can check it out. So now let's see how to perform a search by the title of the folder. So you have to use a title and you can use a contains logic. Contains is actually an operator. So if the titles contain YouTube, I want to uh, return the folder. So now we need to use a, a simple while loop to iterate. So now this search for a folder which contain a string YouTube and return the full name of that particular folder. So it got executed, go to view unlocks. So now you can see that uh, it returned the folder names which contain a keyword YouTube, whether it's at the beginning or middle or at the end. So you can see that YouTube here and YouTube here, YouTube here. So this is how you can perform a search using app script to identify the folders. And now let's see how to perform a search to find the file by its MIME type file search I have to use search files and I have to pass the parameter of the file and I have to use a simple while loop again So inside the parameter, we are going to perform a search using a MIME type. 
so you can go and refer the documentation on how you can perform search using a MIME type so this they have uh, uh, used a MIME type to identify the folder now let's uh, use the MIME type to identify the images so we can use MIME type contain image so let's put that if MIME type contains image and the title of that file contains img then i want to list the file so now it got executed go and logs so here you can see that mime type contains image so it just go and refer the list of files which is having an image type of extension so it return all the files with an extension jpg and have also given an additional condition the title should contain img so it go and search whether the file contain a title img whether at the beginning middle or end and return those file as well so this is how you can perform a search query on file by my type and just have a look at this um, documentation where they have performed a more advanced search query and in case if you need to perform advanced search query using a modified time and using a viewed by me time or if you want to just check whether it was in a trash or whether that particular folder or file is stored so those kind of things you can go and refer in this uh, reference document uh, i will give the link in the description so that's all about uh, this uh, drive app tutorial if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye